So this is a MAF Evolution E800 electric dirt bike. It was 800 watts. I'm converting it to a thousand watts and I'm doing a spray job, a paint job while I'm at it. So I've been waiting for some parts to come. Well, not really parts, bits off eBay and one of them's come today so here it is and it's this it's x grime citrus pro and it's a citrus cleaner so i've bought that because i've used citrus cleaners before to clean mountain bikes up that i've bought and sold and it works really well this smells like a lemon one there's different ones lemon ones orange ones um, and it's really powerful it says on my back of it be careful it can cause skin burns and don't pour in um, natural water because it can kill aquatic life so do you know what I mean it's fairly strong so first of all I'm going to clean this swing arm and give it a good clean and sand it down and that's the first thing that's going to get sprayed so okay I'll show you when I've took the disc brake off well the disc brake caliper and I'll show you it cleaned because it will clean it up really well okay let's jump to that you can't really tell in this dark maybe I'll be able to edit it and adjust it but that's a clean swing arm anyway and it's come up really well it actually in parts you can't tell but it had rust on and my citrus cleaner took the rust off um, mixed it and um, diluted it um, one part citrus to ten parts water and sprayed it on left it for ten minutes sprayed it again scrubbed it with a brush it's come up really well and that's a citrus cleaner it's called X grime and that's seven pound for a litre on eBay it sounds like I'm paid off them but <laughs> I'm not it's just really good products that I want to talk about so okay that's a swing arm so let's get it sanded but what time are we on it's seven o'clock at night maybe it's a bit late to get the electric sander out so um, I've got an idea I'll come back to you in a minute right I've sanded the swing arm I've also degreased it again I got the degreaser, the citrus degreaser, in a little dish with a toothbrush and scrubbed it all. You don't want any grease on when you spray it, you'll get orange peel. Now it's 7.52 and I think I'm going to get it on my balcony and spray it. Now I'll have to decide on my colours. I'll just show you the colours I've got. Metallic gold, bronze, pink, candy pink. Banana yellow, blue, another blue, and a yellow. Ignore the mess on the table, it's always a mess. I clear it, and then a day later, it's a mess again. Anyway, I'm sidetracking, so I'll wear the colours. Right, there we have a pink swing arm. So, it's had about 10 coats. I started about 8 o'clock last night and I did the first coat, waited half an hour and I was doing it till midnight, um, just left it on my balcony then to dry, it's been stood on my radiator but I don't think I should have done that, it's made it red hot and it's a bit sticky, um, so I'm going to leave it to dry, right so that's that side of it. That's that side. Be underneath it's been red hot because it's been on a radiator it's made with paint a bit tacky right so i'm going to do something to this now i'm going to draw a design on it i'm an artist done art since being a very young child quite good at it so i'm going to draw a design on it and i'll show you next okay that's the design drew on the swing arm gotta varnish it now or oh, lacquer but the design is this hexagon honeycomb just done it on the outside there and if you look on that edge there I've left this bar that I'm holding the plate the inside and if you can see the bottom just wanted a pattern on a bit of it not completely covered right 
I'm going to find my varnish and varnish it. Might need a few coats, so I've got a tough coat on this. Right, while the lacquer's drying, I've stripped the frame, so I've removed the wiring, the motor. So tonight I'm going to sand it down and spray it. Don't think I've got time today. Got a few things I need to do. It's 6 pm. I'm going to start sanding the frame. Hopefully, it'll be a bit quicker. I've got this. I've had it a while. Not really used it much. So, let's give it a go. Don't want to sand it really. It's keying it just so the paint keys. Wow, that sander's mint. Took 10 minutes. It's all sanded. Set the inner bits. And I don't think I'm going to reach them anyway. But that's it sanded really. So, get it in my bath now. Under the shower. And get this X grime citrus degreaser on it. And clean it. And hopefully start spraying it at 7 o'clock. Because it's a long slow process. It's not the actual spraying. It's the time in between. The drying times. You need half an hour between each coat. I'm doing it outside. It's winter. Early winter. It's cold. Don't dry as quick. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Here's the swing arm. I've painted it, give it a load of coats like I said before through the video. I've drew these hexagons on it myself and then I've lacquered it. So it's got quite a good sheen on it. Don't know how well you can see. I need to move back them in my light. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I think it looks cool. Right at the minute I'm spraying the frame. I'm doing it blue and it's quite a bright blue. And it's a really good spray paint. It's from Wilkinson's. But why I say that, it covers really well over the black. The pink one is good. And it's still a light colour, this blue. And it covers brilliant. show you the frame after I've done all the coats on it. And then I'm going to do a pattern on it, but I'm going to spray a pattern on it, and then I'll lacquer it. So, next, I'll be the frame painted blue. Right, well, here's the frame. It's now 11.14. It's dried for about an hour, so I finished about 10 o'clock. Um, gave it about seven coats. It's had a really good layer. Um, the paint I used was really good. It covered really well, like I've said. And, yeah, that's it blue frame so tomorrow I'm gonna to cut a stencil out it's gonna to be tomorrow night I'm gonna cut a stencil out and I'm gonna do a design over this now stencil over the top of it with a different colored blue so I'll just quickly show you what it looks like close up So, bit of a close up, bit juddery, but right, that's it for tonight now. Gonna leave that to dry there, and yeah, it's been a busy day. Right, before I go, I've just put them side by side and make sure that they clash, because I definitely want my colours to clash. That's it for today. Okay, I'm gonna jump till tomorrow. Right, well it's a good few days later, and here's the finished frame, so the swing arms are attached temporary, so um, let's have a look at it. been the spray job of the frame 
and I've got other things to spray quite a few things but I'm just going to jump to them finished in the next video you've been watching part 2 of customising the MAF MAF E800 mini dirt bike into a thousand watt ultra hex adult dirt bike and this is all for fun don't take it too serious right okay thanks for watching bye